Hello everyone, this is Johannes and you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings and today we are taking a look at that little children family game called Pyramid of Pink Queen. It's from Brain Games. It's a two to five player game from eight plus. It takes around 40 minutes to play. Box says so. Let's go down and see how this game plays and we'll come back up and see what I think about Pyramid of Penguin! So, let's talk about how we play Pyramid of Penguin. This is a kind of strange game, it's a magnetic game. It has this magnetic board, this is actually the box of the game, which you put this magnetic board on. And the way you set it up is that one side is for the penguins, you put this tiny, 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 tiny magnets on there, Oh, it's so tiny. You put it on the entrance to the pyramid and then you put the uh, mummy at the sarcophagus space. At the other side of the sarcophagus space you put this huge mummy thing. So when I move the mummy on the back side you will see that the mummy is moving around on the front. And that is how you set up the game. Now you have to choose one player to be the mummy, which sits on this side of the board. And you have to choose the penguins, which sits on the other side of the board. At the beginning of the game, all the penguins get their life counters. They have three life counters there. Boom, if they lose all their lives, they're dead. And they will also have some cards. They will get one card of each color. There are on the board a lot of different treasures in a lot of different colors. In not a lot, there's like five colors. So they will get one of each, which they need to find to win the game. So basically that's the setup and then we can start playing. Everybody's gonna take a turn. The penguin used the penguin dice and the mummy used the, you guessed it, mummy die, not the daddy die. Okay, so the mummy, no, the penguin will roll the dice like this. Boom. All over, some on the floor, some on the table, don't mind, don't care. So like this, let's say they get some trees, they get one of these mummy faces. They have to put it over to the side, they can't use that die. So, what happens now is that they can either re-roll their die or they can use one of these dice if they are happy. So let's say it was red player's turn, he enjoyed these dice, he now had to choose one of them for movement. He will choose number three and he will move three spaces. He has to say to the to the mummy, I'm moving, I'm choosing a three. So the mummy knows he will move three spaces. He can go back and forth, he can move to the same space again, but he has to move the exact three spaces. So red player moves, let's say one, two, three spaces, like that. Then it's the yellow player's turn. He only have three dice now because one left on the floor, but let's say he only had three dice left and there are a mummy die over here. He can either choose to return a mummy die or he can choose to roll again. Let's say he just chooses to roll again and he gets another mummy die and he gets a four and a, 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 a arrow, an arrow, that's the English word, an arrow. He gets his arrow and a four. Let's say he chooses to use the arrow this time. He then only have to say, I'm using the arrow and he have to move all the way to one direction. In the beginning of the game, of course, it's not going to be so hard for the mummy to know that he moved all down on the, in the corner here. And now it's the mummy's turn. The mummy is basically rolling the die and seeing how many mummy faces he gets. Now he gets three mummy faces, but he adds on the mummy faces of the die of the penguins. So he has five. He can move five trying to find the other penguins. It's going to be really easy for me now. So one, two, three, four, boom! He found the red player. What's happened now is that he takes the red player, he has to stop movement as soon as he gets somebody, he gets one life token from the red player, you take the red player and put it into the sarcophagus, and it's again the player of the penguins turn. So now the player probably want to reset the die, he only have, he only have these two dice and these two that are locked, he probably want to reset the die and the way that works is that he chooses to reroll them all, but before that the mummy gets to do an extra round and he gets to do two movement because there are two things like that so maybe he walks one two and then it's the player turn again and you continue playing like this until either the mummy has 
taken X amount of lives depending on the number of players or until one player has found all their treasure. And to find the treasure you will end the space of course on or end your turn on the space of the treasure, show the treasure card and now the mummy of course know where you are which makes it a bit harder to escape. And that's everything you need to know to play the rise of no not the rise the pyramid of penguin. So let's get back up to the table and see what I think about this one. So that is how you play Pyramid of Penguin. It's a really simple family style game. And some of you might, might ask you like, why do you want to review this game? This is like a really light game and you usually enjoy like heavier titles or titles that are more involved than this game. And basically the main reason I wanted to check this game out was because of the magnetic board. I was interested in another game from Brain Games and I saw this game, I was like, oh, there's a magnetic board. I never owned a game with a magnetic board when I was a kid. And the kid in me was like, I wanna own this magnetic board. And I got a game and we played it quite a few times and it's actually quite fun. It's a really light game, it's a filler game, it's super super simple, this is not something you play like with your game group if you're not into really light games, which is of course completely okay. We played this like with some friends, we played this at uh, the game group gathering, there's not a lot of newer players there who haven't played a lot of heavier games, which this was perfect for, and one thing I have to say and as the mummy and also as the penguins, you actually kind of get the tension. If you just like, if you if you just want to get immersed in the game and just think like, oh, I'm going to win or try try to, to, to be sneaky, you, you kind of get like, oh, is the, is the mummy going to get me? Or haha, my, I'm getting you now. And as the mummy is like kind of frustrating, trying to move around and trying to, to get him and you afterwards like, oh, I was there, I was there. You were so close, but you didn't get us. And the point, like, sometimes the mummy can see where the players are, sometimes they can't know where the players are. It is actually quite a fun game. There's not much actually to say about this game. It is super quick. It shouldn't take 40 minutes to play, as the box says. It should take maybe 25, 30 minutes to play. It's easy to teach. One thing which annoyed me a bit, I do understand why they did it, but it does annoy me, that is... Why are the magnets so small? Like, can you even see this magnet? Like, it's so small. Like, if, if you are playing this with children, you're probably gonna lose these magnets in under. Like, you probably don't know if I have anything. I could be like this. These magnets are so small. These like are really, really small magnets, and there's no magnet there. But I can also have the magnet there, and you wouldn't know the difference because these magnets are so small. So, if you're playing this with children, I don't know how you can't lose these magnets in like two plays. That's my only like critique of the game. Other than that, the game looks good, the components are great. As I said, not much to say about this game. If you see the rule explanation, it's straightforward, it's fun, you know what you get. It is a game I can play sometimes. My, my nephew is soon old enough to play this game. I'm really looking forward to jump into more heavier games with him, we played some, some smaller games with him. If you have somebody you want to get into gaming, try out Pyramid of Penguin. It is a fun, solid game, which I think will... You know if you will enjoy this or not. Basically, after seeing this review, you know if you will enjoy it or not. That's it. Not much to say, but it's a fun game. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. It, I was surprised how much uh, joy I got out of the place I had. It was a fun time, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching the review. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and more videos are coming soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.